Yo, yeah, well, what is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back, Simon B one four seven one checking in once again with another video. And today, guys, it's another one of those moments. Um, I absolutely love it when this comes around because the player base of the finals um, have just been incredibly toxic towards me when I've been making these videos, just trying to improve the finals, trying to make Embark realize that not every single person out there wants to play an MLG sweat invested skill-based matched to the fuck video game and ultimately they've doubled down with season two i said th this game was dead I, I even said that season two this game isn't even going to get anywhere near what it had originally on release and i've been proved right yet again uh, my last video was about the finals all the fans coming in being toxic towards me. Oh, you don't know what you're on about. Season 2 is going to make this game great again. Season 2 this, Season 2 that. Oh, you just wait until Season 2 comes in, Simon. The game's going to be fantastic. Well, here we are, guys, again on Steam DB. We're going to look at player numbers. Again, this is just for PC, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty much mirrored in the console community. People seem to think that... A lot of players play more now on console than PC. Well, that's not accurate. More people play on, especially competitively, more people play on PC now than ever. PC gaming is more accessible than ever. So, again, there's still going to be more people playing on console, I believe, for this game. Again, it's free to play. Um, however, Call of Duty now is pretty much a 50-50 split between console and PC players. We've actually had that data from Activision. So if we take a look on Steam DB now, so when this game initially released, it hit its all-time peak of 242,000 players, which again is great. I think it puts it in the top 20 um, games on Steam via player numbers of all time. However, there's only 20,000 people playing it now. It did peak earlier, which was last night, um, which was the release of Season 2. You can kind of see it in this graph here. So last night when the season two went live, it jumped up to 48,000 players. Now, I didn't realize this game is actually as dead as what it is. I know it's dead, but I didn't realize it's kind of like completely buried. It's never going to come back. I'm surprised by these numbers. But once I've looked into what Embark have done with season two um, of the finals, I can kind of understand why people have stayed away from this game. They've not listened to me. They've kind of just not given a damn at all about the casual player base they just want to you know have everybody who plays this game to sweat and it's by no surprise that i saw videos from pretty much every big influencer youtube or whatever you want to call them all saying oh look we've been invited out to embark guys embark studios we're playing with embark studios guys to um yeah play this game oh look this game is great fun oh it's amazing i can't wait to play this game yeah everybody kind of doesn't understand that you know, that's how marketing works. Oh, we're going to send people out. You know, what they should be doing on their videos is actually putting disclaimers on every single video, what's being done. You know, they are working in partnership with Embark. Embark are letting them have early access to gameplay to promote the game. Now, isn't that a working relationship? Surely on YouTube, you should actually say that this is um, sponsored content because it kind of is. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you know, it's pretty bad when games have to basically, you know, give early access for all these YouTubers to get the early views, you know, it's in a bad situation. So yeah, the game yesterday had 48,000. I thought that was at least going to get near to 100,000, but it hasn't. So if we kind of look at, you know, before season two, the game was probably averaging 22, 23, 24. Let's go for 23,000 players a day. Last night it shot up to 48,000. So it's kind of doubled roughly the players but this is the interesting one guys people logged on on the 14th and oh look they soon started logging out thinking yep yeah, this game is trash this game is trash now again you could probably take into consideration that's when people are going to sleep there but again it's still a big drop if you look at the peaks and dips there i think it looks to me like i think Later on today, you're maybe going to get 35, 40,000, but I'm surprised that we've only jumped up to 48,000. I thought that would at least be 100,000 last night. Again, it's the first time. It's it's season two. It's a huge update. So, yeah, the game is dead. 
yes, it might have a maybe the next week it might you know do much better than I don't know twenty two twenty three thousand plays. It might be nearer thirty thirty five thousand. But I can assure you, after the next week has gone, they're going to be pretty much back down to twenty thousand plays again. And we're just going to quickly watch um, what they've actually done in update two for season two. I'm going to stop it throughout and just kind of give you my thoughts and opinion on you know what I would have done differently. So here we go. The clock is counting down, and the retros need to make a move to avoid getting knocked down. Indeed, the socialites are defending hard and has. Uh, are you messing with this room? There seems to be. So basically what they're doing on season two, right, guys, is that it's kind of been hacked, glitching, stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, you know, the only reason I don't like the finals now is because of the gameplay design choices, mechanics they've gone down. They've gone down the whole esports route instead of just making this a fun, casual game because the concept is incredible. It's just they've got carried away like a lot of games have done before it with this whole MLG sweat fest video game. <laughs> And you can tell 100% these games have been made by hipsters. You know, for a fact that some of their development team have got strange coloured hairs. You know there's going to be some nose rings knocking around in their development studio. Guarantee it, guys. You can just tell by the art design. It's not made for me. Let's put it that way, and it's not made for a lot of people. Look at that, you know, a bunny suit. Really? Really? I don't want to be triggering people, but again, if you're getting triggered, ha ha. Again, I like the old retro music, and how, even how the game looks, I don't think it looks terrible. I like the art design. It's just certain things what just... I'm like, why are you putting a pink bunny suit in the fucking game? And this portal grenade, or whatever you call it, because let's be real, it's kind of like how portal works the game from years ago. This has been put in to kind of make the skill gap even bigger. Sweaty call-outs, all that kind of shit, you know. It's it's a bad thing to be in the game. This is going to annoy people, I can guarantee you. Again, the game here looks cool. You know, there's nothing wrong with this. You're, this dematerializer, I think this is quite cool. But again, the whole sweat, and you're going to see it towards the end of the video. Apologies, we seem to be having some technical death, but one thing for certain... Private matches, you know why they've put those in. MLG Sweatfest. Again, guys, the trailer looks very well. I do like the artwork, but just get rid of the pink fucking bunny suit for fuck's sake. You know, it's it's just insane, but this this is kind of what we're going to be looking at now. Um, let's scroll down here. So, obviously, it's just telling you what's happened. You don't really need me to go through the patch notes. You kind of get, get a new weapon, you know, primary, secondary, shotgun, whatever. Um, you get the new de dematerializer, the gateway, portal grenade, whatever you want to call it anti-gravity crew so there's a few things here you know obviously the battle pass because we all know how video games work now but again i'm not gonna be too critical of this game it's a free-to-play game free-to-play game is entitled to have a battle pass you know as well as a paid one even a premium one it doesn't really matter you know it's a free-to-play video game the only reason i have a problem with battle passes and stuff like that is in the full AAA video games where you've already paid 60 quid for the game and then oh look on day one they want another 15 quid for a battle pass you know it's just wrong um, so this is the whole thing here. Become a professional. Now, I know the MLG sweat lords and ladies are going to love this. Okay, that's fine. 
However, you've got to cater towards the casuals. And this game, Embark Studios, for some reason, just do not care about casuals at all. We're going to talk about the new 5v5 game mode as well, which I know that's going to be um, better for the lesser players. Or, well, not so much the lesser players, just people who want, want to play casual. You don't want to, you know, join a Discord call with your friends for call-outs in a game or, you know, all that nonsense. Again, I get people like that, but the majority of people who play casual, sorry, who play video games are casuals. I'd say maybe five in 100 people who play video games are sweats who want to be, you know, the next MLG pro gamer. And video games kind of over-represent over the MLG element in their games. You know, games are supposed to be fun. They're supposed to be relaxing, believe it or not. But now they're just a complete sweat fest, MLG, gamma fuel, whatever G fuel thing you have. I have caffeine. But they've kind of introduced this rookie challenger circuit, pro circuit. I know that's going to be incredibly popular. But again, what are you doing for the casuals? You're doing nothing. And you're kind of fucking your own game up. You know, if, if, if kind of these egotistical, you know, narcissistic developers actually listen to people who was critical instead of just listening to people on social media who just want to, you know, deep throat them, you know, going, oh, great game, guys, great game. You know, all these developers, community managers love praise. I've seen them on fucking Twitter and all that shit, lapping it up, going, oh, thanks. You know, they kind of feel like they're fucking Tom Cruise or some fucking superstar. But if you say anything negative, they just fucking ignore you. They even fucking block you guys. Community managers blocking people on social media just for being critical of the game. Don't get me wrong, if you're being an arsehole, you're being an arsehole. But just being critical of the game and pointing out shit and you get blocked by a community a community manager. That community manager should be fired. It's your job to interact with the community and not just let people suck you off saying nice things. And that's ultimately what happens. That's not just this game. It's fucking all of them. You know, your community manager, they're so sensitive. Um, so anyway, they've put that in. They've said better matches here, right? We'd have better matches if you actually went to the matchmaking system when the game was initially released. You fucked around with it. You made it sweatier. Again, you're saying, oh, we wanted games to be closer and more, you know, more competitive. No, just fucking anything outside of unranked should have totally random matchmaking. Yes, ranked. What's the point of having ranked and unranked if you're just going to have skill-based matchmaking throughout every single mode? Get rid of SBMM in unranked matches. It's, it's pretty simple. Yeah, just do that. My name's Simon. Fucking simple Simon says, remove skill-based matchmaking from your fucking game. Um, so there's private matches. We know why that is because, again, it's an MLG thing. Um, obviously, new abilities and equipment, which they've got to put new stuff in the game for free because, let's be real, um, obviously, they're going to put a lot of um, content in the game, which isn't free. Again, this is a totally free-to-play game. I judge this totally separately, as I've already said, to a AAA game where you're paying 50, 60, or even 70 quid um, on release. There's been some balance changes, which I think was needed. Um, I've not played the game for a while, so I don't actually know how balanced the heavies are these days, so... Again, somebody let me know in the comment section if you're still watching at this point, if you've not had a nosebleed, if I've triggered you that much. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here. Where's the 5v5 game mode? Have I actually gone past it? Because I know they've got Solo Banquet in there now, which is decent. Um, where did I see Solo Bank? Well, anyway, there's a 5v5 game mode. Why have they not put it in here? Have, have I missed it? Where's the 5v5 game mode? I think I've, I'm I'm confident there's a new 5v5 game mode. I just don't know where it's gone. But anyway, there's a new 5v5 game mode, which, again, is meant to be less sweaty than, you know, the normal matches. So there is something there for casual players, but again, they've not really changed the skill-based matchmaking. So I was kind of under the impression that this game would be doing absolutely, you know, probably top 10 on Twitch. If you can get, I don't know, 30 viewers, look guys, third row of Twitch, 21 viewers, what's going on? What's going on, guys? I know I'm doing this video fairly early in the day, but again, let's look at other games. I expected it to be around here. You know, you're always going to get the top rows pretty much going to be the top row. I don't know why Overwatch has got that many people. They must be, yeah, champion series in Korea, right? That's, that's why Overwatch is that high up. 
Um, I'd expect it to be sat somewhere on the second row, guys. Um, however, how far have we got to go down to find it? Look there, guys. That's how far the finals is down. So, like I've said before, it's okay having an MLG, an eSport kind of element in your game. That's fine. But you've got no eSports at all. No pro scene without casuals playing your game and enjoying it. You know, why do you think COD was huge back in the day? I know it's not as big as what it used to be five, six years ago now. But Call of Duty used to be a great game for casuals. And then the pro scene fed off the casuals. However, the pro scene now in Call of Duty is worse than it's ever been. Because the games in the game... Sorry, the weapons in the game, they're actually taking weapons out of the pro scene. Because they're too overpowered in the normal game. Again, that's probably enough for this video. That's probably another video I could talk about now. Obviously, for people who don't know, I did play professional Call of Duty. Um, back in 2007 for my local team. Um, obviously, we didn't do well. Again, I'm not the best Call of Duty um, MLG pro gamer that's ever lived. Obviously, I'm not as good as Nade Shot. Um, but I did have potential to be as good as Nade Shot, guys. I just um, got distracted by the female of the species. And obviously, I decided to go out and try to get laid instead of playing video games. And here I am today. So anyway, guys, all jokes aside, thank you everybody for watching. If you've watched right until the end and you've got a nosebleed because I'm saying something, um, you know, provocative about your favourite video game, um, please type in the... Please type in the... <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say it. Please type in the comment section. The finals is the best video game ever and you're just a hater. All right, love you all. Take it easy. E even the haters, I love you. I love the haters. I love me lovers. I love everybody. At the end of the day... I say what I say on this channel, and you can pretty much say whatever you want in the comments. I don't really care. You can like, dislike the video. I don't really care. Again, this is just my opinion. But as, as I said in my last video, numbers back up my opinion. So if you're going to come here and say that, no, the finals is a great game. It's doing incredibly well. You're factually incorrect. All right. See you all soon. Love you. Bye-bye for now.